Hello, and welcome back to our daily games series. We're starting, as always, with Wordle and... Wordle, excuse me, not Wordle. Um, this one has me perplexed, because this looks like a very distinct country. This looks like a country that I should immediately recognize, but I don't. It looks like a country on the western coast of the Balkans. Like, and that's what this coastline gives me the impression of but i don't think it is it's not greece it's not albania it's not montenegro it's not croatia it's not bosnia and herzegovina it's not slovenia um i don't think it's serbia i don't think it's in europe so that tells me it doesn't tell me anything it just means we need to think outside of europe um Something that looks like it might have a coastline on the left or the west and maybe a land border on the right. We've got straight lines. You know the, the Crouching Puma Corollary of the Wordle theorems. I, okay, I, that bit crashed before it took off because I didn't know where I was going with that. But anyway, my rule, you know, when I see straight lines, I think Africa, the Middle East, because I think some... Dumb white guy, a hundred years ago, drew these borders. So if this is somewhere in Africa, this could be on the west coast of Africa. This is not Senegal. This is not Morocco. This is not the Gambia. This is not Ivory Coast, Sierra Leone, Liberia, Ghana, Benin, Togo, Nigeria, Cameroon, Gabon, Equatorial Guinea, Namibia, Angola, South Africa. Really the only countries in that area I could feasibly see it being is Guinea-Bissau. I was going to say Guinea or Guinea-Bissau, but Guinea is actually... Maybe it is Guinea-Bissau, or Guinea, excuse me. <laughs> Too many guineas. I thought Guinea was too big, but now that I think about it, this this does kind of look like this. I don't think this is Guinea Bissau because Guinea Bissau is just like a small little singular shaped piece of land that I know that doesn't really make any sense. It's hard for me to translate what my mind is seeing into what into words. Jesus, English, please. <laughs> um. So maybe this is Guinea. And Guinea-Bissau is, like, right here, right here? I don't know. And then what would be over here? Like, Mar Mauritania? Or Burkina Faso or something? Let's go Guinea. I I don't feel good about it. I don't, I don't think that's right. Not even close. 8,000 kilometers west. So we're in the Americas. Once again, I'm really bad at, so this must be a Central American country. So this could be Honduras. This is not Guatemala, I don't think. This is not El Salvador. This is not Belize. So it's either Nicaragua, Costa Rica, or Honduras, I think. I suppose it could be El Salvador. El Salvador is a tiny little country on the Pacific coast of... I don't know if there's a name for the entire, like, narrowing isthmus that shrinks from, like, southern Mexico through Central America into Panama. But El Salvador is, like, right in the middle on the Pacific coast. Belize is also very small. It's on the Atlantic coast, um, basically right below the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. Um, and to the east of Guatemala, I believe, and to the north of Honduras. So maybe Belize tucks in right here. But then why would this coast, or why would this eastern border be so straight? Maybe it's not straight. You know, you can see some little pieces jutting out here. But still, like, look at this. That's not, that's not a coastline. So maybe it is Guatemala. Or El Salvador. 
It, it's obviously not Belize because there's not a coast on the western side of Belize. I also don't think there's a coast on the western side of Honduras. So now I'm like, is this El Salvador or Nicaragua? I still don't think it's Guatemala. I think I know what Guatemala looks like because it comes up in GeoGuessr so often. I'm, I'm between El Salvador and Nicaragua. Nicaragua was the answer on Flaggle, but that was the day before it debuted on my YouTube series. But I'm tempted to go with Nicaragua. Just because I don't think... I think El Salvador is too small, and I don't think it has this little peninsula right here. I think it has a, a, a flat... Not a flat coast, but like a... There's nothing jutting out. I'm going to go with Nicaragua. Excuse me. Can I spell? Oh, come on. So this... I actually think this is Costa Rica, if it's to the south of Nicaragua. Right? Because pan... The only thing... It, it goes Guatemala, Belize, Honduras, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, something like that. Maybe Nicaragua is actually north of El Salvador. I guess it would have to be, because otherwise it would be less than 381 kilometers. Or I'm just dumb, and I'm missing something very obvious. Okay, it's Costa Rica. I floated that as a possibility... When I first said we were in Central America, but then for some reason I just stopped talking about it because I was so hung up on the shape of El Salvador and Belize's varying coasts. Anyway, that took a while. That's that's upsetting. I really thought that was Africa. Let's let's take a peek. This isn't a, there's no like national borders, but I believe Guinea. So it's like Senegal is like here ish. The Gambia's this little twig in here. And then I want to say it's like Guinea, Guinea-Bissau. Liberia? Sierra Leone? Okay. I don't know what I thought I'd be able to see without the national borders, but I was trying to convince myself that that kind of looked like Guinea. Or no, I think I had Guinea and Guinea-Bissau backwards just now. Guinea is the big one. Guinea-Bissau is the small round one, like right here. And then Guinea-Bissau... Oh my god. <laughs> my mind is melting. Then Guinea is like this hot dog shaped thing. Very very loosely hot dog shaped. It's not really hot dog shaped. Um anyway, let's go with Lebanon. 7000 kilometers. Okay. We are for finally not in here. Although I mean yesterday we were in Comoros. Oh my god, the globe already broke. Um we were in Comoros, so that's not really up in here either. But let's go. I'm going to keep going to Asia, like Eastern Asia, until we're finally over there. Let's go Bangladesh again. 1,400 kilometers. So we could do we could do the Maldives, but I think that would be a lot more than, or a lot less than 8,000 kilometers. Maybe not a lot less, but I don't think it would be 8,000 kilometers. If Turkey to Comoros was like 5,300 or whatever, I don't think Lebanon to the Maldives is 8,000. So I'm going to guess we're like more... maybe North Korea, maybe Taiwan, maybe the Philippines, maybe Palau. If we get over here, I'm screwed. Let's go Taiwan. Taiwan might be a little too far away, 1,400 kilometers, but I guess we're going to find out. Yeah, okay, it's it's... Bangladesh is still closer, so that actually, that's reassuring, because that basically eliminates all of Oceania, which is what I was worried about. But that also tells me... Maybe it's Sri Lanka. That's, that's kind of confusing to me, because... Unless I'm just... I feel like this is a, re a repeating motif in this series, that I don't know what a kilometer is. <laughs> but... 8,000 kilometers away from Lebanon. I assume Bangladesh is less than 8,000 kilometers away from Lebanon. I might be wrong. Bangladesh might be overshooting the distance. And maybe we actually need to move back west somewhere, like Pakistan. Um, but I'm going to go Sri Lanka first, just because I don't want to admit that I might be wrong. Okay. That's concerning. It's even farther than Taiwan. <laughs> that actually is kind of weird. 
Because if it was west, Sri Lanka would definitely be closer than Taiwan. So it, maybe it's north. Maybe it's North Korea. But then Taiwan would be closer to North Korea than Bangladesh. So maybe it's Kyrgyzstan. But then is Kyrgyzstan 8,000 kilometers from Lebanon? That seems impossible to me. But I think, once again, I just don't understand how big the world is. Slash maybe not how big it is. Maybe it's smaller than I think. Um, so let's go Kyrgyzstan. That's even further than Sri Lanka. Am I being pranked? How is this possible? How is Bangladesh closer than all three of these countries? We've triangulated. So it has to be... Like, Indonesia would be closer to Sri Lanka. The Korean Peninsula, Japan, China would all be closer to Taiwan. The stands in the Middle East would all be closer to Kyrgyzstan and Lebanon. Does global do territories? The, the globe broke again. I don't think it does. I think it's only countries. There's a new mystery country. I've never seen a territory on here. So I was going to say, like, maybe the British Indian Ocean Territory. 1,300 kilometers. Okay, maybe it's, like, Malaysia. Maybe I'm really overthinking this. Maybe it's just, like, Malaysia or Thailand or... Cambodia or something. Okay, Malaysia is 500 kilometers away. And it's closer to Bangladesh than Taiwan. Which means it's not the Philippines. It's not Vietnam. I don't think. But it could be Cambodia or Laos, maybe. 500 kilometers from Malaysia means it's not Thailand. It means it's not Indonesia. It means it's not Brunei. Maybe it's Papua New Guinea. But then there's no way on the Earth that Papua New Guinea is closer to Bangladesh than Taiwan. I know the Earth is round and that sometimes it's tricky, but like there's just actually no way. I would I would rage quit this series if that were the case. I've never been so stumped by global. And we're only at six guesses, so our, our, if, if we get it relatively soon, our, we're not going to have a lot of as many guesses as we've had in the past, but I still think this is the most stumped I've ever been. So I'm going to say 500 kilometers from Malaysia, but it's closer to Bangladesh than Sri Lanka and Taiwan. So maybe it has to be like Laos. But that seems like more than 500 kilometers. So maybe it's Cambodia. Okay. I don't know why that was so hard for me to comprehend. That was just like the perfectly... And that We got it in seven again. Seven is our cursed slash lucky number. We, get, we like perfectly surrounded this country. So everyone was like kind of equidistant, but not really. Because I can only see the distance of the closest nation... That broke my brain in half. I, 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 I never want to think about that again. That was upsetting. Okay, Flaggle. Give me, give me something good. Give me... Kenya. Kenya has a cool flag. Um, okay, I feel like I have seen this flag. I think that is a country, not a territory. But I... Um, I don't know, actually. I don't really have a guess. Um, it's not Belarus, it's not Ukraine. Let's just go Myanmar. I don't know what their flag looks like. Whoa, that's not the colors I was expecting. Oh, oh I, I didn't see the distance. I'm so stupid. 1,700 kilometers north of Kenya, 6,000 kilometers west of Myanmar. So 1700, so we're basically going straight up from Kenya, you would hit, like, the Middle East. I don't think this is, this is not Saudi Arabia, this is not Qatar, this is not the UAE or Jordan. I don't know off the top of my head of what Yemen and Oman's flags look like, but that doesn't really seem right. 
Um, it's not Lebanon. It's not Israel. It's not Palestine. Oh, I know this is the, they're making the triangle, right? And then it's green on top, blue on bottom. But I can't remember what country that is. Maybe it's like Armenia or Azerbaijan. Whoa, okay, 3,000 kilometers south of Armenia. 1,700 kilometers is not that far. I probably went way too far. This is probably like Eritrea or Djibouti. Okay, it's Eritrea. Okay, okay. Again, I, I, I made that harder on myself than I needed to because they gave us the distance and then I also like overshot the distance by more than like twice as much. This is, we had such a, we had two great games in a row. Yesterday and the day before. Yesterday's was unreal. We got Wordle on our second try. We got a Moonshot guess on Komoros on Global. We got Yirtle and Actoral on our first try. We got Flaggle in three, I think. And we got Framed in four. That, that's by far our best performance. This... I don't know. It looks vaguely familiar, but I say that every time. So I'm not going to pretend to have any idea what this is. Um, something in a East Asian setting or perhaps featuring Southeast Asian immigrants. I can't tell. I, I'm, I'm too ignorant to know if this is Buddhist or what. Um, let's go the raid <laughs> two because I've seen the raid. I know this isn't the raid, but it might be the raid two. Whoa. Um. Still don't know. I thought she was underwater for a second, but clearly this is above water, and there's like a spotlight shining on her. Is this Crimson Peak? I, I, it's not. I'll tell you that. But is that J.K. Simmons? We've already had Birdman, right? What what is happening? This is the I don't The Phantom of the Opera. Riggin Thompson. What we talk about when we talk about love. Bro, I have no idea. I don't think I've seen this. Silver Linings Playbook, maybe? That's Emma Stone. What in the heck is going on with this man's face? Is this Birdman? I don't think... I, A, I think we've already had Birdman, and B, I don't think this... It was Birdman. Oh my god. I literally said that on the second frame. Or no, maybe it was the third frame. Uh, I can't remember, I think it was a Sporkle video where I talked about Birdman. All of my game, my trivia games are bleeding together in my head, but I, I, I've only seen it once, and it was on a plane uh, when I was flying either to Europe or from Europe. Uh, not the, the best uh, viewing experience for a movie of that caliber, but I didn't love it, which I think maybe has something to do with the way I watched it, so I need to give it another shot. We haven't dumped Yertle yet, which I might come to regret. Akbar the Great, the third emperor of the Mughal Empire, besieges and captures the massive Chittor Fort in northern India. Battle of San Juan de Uyula in the Anglo-Spanish War in the Gulf of Mexico. A Spanish fleet forces English privateers under John Hawkins to end their campaign. In the Battle of Langside, the forces of Mary Queen of Scots are defeated by a confederacy of Scottish Protestants under James Stuart, Earl of Moray, her half-brother. Okay. I have... Several thoughts, mostly relating to the third one. Um, I know the Mughals were around in the second half of the first millennia, but I couldn't tell you much about their specific time frame. Um, not the first millennia, the second millennia, excuse me. The uh, Anglo-Spanish War, I mean, they, they had privateer conflicts for centuries, so that doesn't really help me. Um, but this one, so I know Mary Queen of Scots was alive in the 1600. I also know that James Stewart, I believe later James Stewart spelled S-T-U-A-R-T, the first king of the Stuart dynasty of England, ran, uh, reigned in the early 1600s, or maybe, 
I can never remember if it's James Charles Charles James or Charles James James Charles. It's one of those two. So this is, I think this is like the mid 1600s. Early mid 1600s. So let's go like 1637. We're within 40 years, so that doesn't, that doesn't really help. That either tells me we're in the late 1500s or the late 1600s. I don't think it's the late 1600s. I think it's the late 1500s. So let's go like 1595. 11 to 40 years off. Okay, we're getting closer. This was, this was earlier than I, I... I thought for sure... Wasn't she executed in like... The 1630s or 1650s, so I, I mean, she must have been executed earlier than that. Because I don't think they would have kept her around for decades, just sitting in prison. Um, so let's go like 1566. Okay, we're within a couple of years. 1565? Um, I'm trying to... I. Mary Queen of Scots execution was also something that came up in Sporkle recently, and I feel like 1565 sticks in my head. Nope. Okay. So, uh, 1568, it must be. All right. Not nearly as satisfying as the last couple of days, but we did still get it fairly early. I mean, you know, I, normally I, in Yurto, I feel like we're either not getting it at all or getting it on the 7th or 8th guess. So I, I will take that. And, whoa, this person's been in a lot of movies. That's good for me. 2014. Well, you know, okay. I, I, this is Interstellar. I don't have to say anymore, but I was going to say you can tell by the fact that it has a stupidly high IMDb score that all of the... I'm not even going to say anything. All of the people who use IMDb. Uh, they, they, they love Christopher Nolan. Let's just leave it at that. Um, so this is Interstellar. We're looking at like... Is this The Gentleman? G-E-N-T-L-E-M-A-N. I believe this is Matthew McConaughey. Uh, yeah, the crime action comedy. That's the... It's not Guy Ritchie. Is it, it's not Matthew Vaughn either. Which, which weird British director is it? Um, Dallas Buyers Club? Yes. Uh, this is this is obviously Matthew McConaughey. We're just looking through his filmography now. Um, the Wolf of Wall Street. How the actual fuck does Interstellar have point five have a point a rating point five higher than The Wolf of Wall Street? The Wolf of Wall Street has more film craft in one frame. Than the entirety of Interstellar. I'm I am furious. Oh my god. Oh, I don't even want to look at the rest of this. Didn't I, get me off this screen? I'm gonna go commit non-actionable parody acts in Minecraft against the headquarters of IMDb. I'm I, no one ever talk to me again. Please leave a like and subscribe and go watch The Wolf of Wall Street. Do yourself a favor. I'll see you guys tomorrow.